What happens when we meet a guy that's trying to become a friend or the girl that keeps forgetting her memories every week? We have one week friends, a comedy slice of life, slightly romance elements with a done by Brain Base, which is one of the se that seasonal animes that came out during spring. I've got to say, I really wanted to talk about One Week Friends. It is such an enjoyable, short sure, little underrated, actually, a little show that just recently just ended, and I just wanted to talk about you um, about it today. It's like it was a really good, enjoyable story, and this is my review on it. So our main story starts off with our main protagonist, Hase Yuku, who actually wants to be friends between a girl named Fujimina Karo, who is actually a very isolated girl. Like she's like sort of puts herself away from her. She don't talk to anyone. She's quiet in class. She's like one of the top A students as well and literally the episode starts with Hase saying please be my friend although he does have a slight crush on him like you see in the first episode it definitely shows that he wants to be a friend and actually you know take care of it like say I want to be like a friend and for a lot of persuasion a lot of perseverance he was actually able to actually be her friend however she has a slight little issue after a week uh, worse of memories and all that she seems to be forget all of her friends, every other memory seems to be untouched, but if she has anyone that she considers a friend or anyone like that, then she'll completely forget about them and just not know who they are. So Hase Yuki pretty much has to deal with being friends with someone who forgets them all the time and sort of trying to deal with this situation saying like, you know, is it worth keep being with a friend that someone who keeps forgetting about me? Is she even doing this for real? Like definitely the best thing about this series is definitely all the characters. Though a short amount of cast, there's probably around about like five of them all together. They were all very well done, very well written, and I really enjoyed each and every one. Like, we got our main protagonist, Hasayuki, who, you know, he's sort of the run of the mill guy who's just really desperate to become friends with um, uh, Kaori, and it was shown that he's a very nice guy down low. Although he does show that he has a slight little crush on it, he does know he wants to, he will put his friends first before himself. Then we have Kaori herself, who opens up for out more of the series worth. Like, first it's just like, oh, she's just this silent, very shy girl that just doesn't talk about. And then finding out that she does have a very, very messed up past about what happened to her and all that. And it definitely gave a lot of strong points to this series about knowing a lot more about her back. Especially one of another pros about this series is that the development between Hase and Kaori, for all the situations that they go through throughout the 12 episode series, they felt really good. They felt enjoyable. And it just felt worth it, and it's just like showing that these two, uh, like it, it, the series just portrayed how beautiful friendship is, regardless of memories are there. If you still had that inner feeling that you're saying, that is my friend right there, then it doesn't matter if you forget things about them, as long as you know each other that you're friends. It's kind of like the moral of the story like that, which I really did enjoy. And then we have some supporting characters as well. We have Kiryu um, Shogo, who's the lazy, don't give a fuck, blunt sort of um, best friend character to Hase, who sort of says what he is and he doesn't really smile, he doesn't like do anything, and he's like, it kind of looks like he doesn't even want to hang around with Hase at all. But it does show, you know, he does care for things and he actually does, you know, admire what Hase is trying to do with Kaori. Then we have Yamagishi Saki, who's a ditzy, very strange girl, which personally at the start of the series, I didn't really like her and all that, but she came to grow on me, and she actually uh, was quite funny, and I do like the relation between her and Shokiliu throughout the whole series and how they develop as well. It's a very interesting cast of characters. And then we have Hajime um, Gogo, which I don't want to go too much into him since he came really around right about the end of the series, but all I can say, he's a dick. Definitely the pro. Definitely the pros of the series, like, like I said, that all the characters are very good. Even the one I doubted ending up, like I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Yamagishi. Yeah, like this animation is something that my brain knows. It looks like a picture. But if anyone's ever played the game Valkyrie Chronicles, then you know what that art style looks like. It looks like a picture book being done. And that was one of the best things about the series. It just looked beautiful to look at. And one of the things that I liked about this as well is that it was actually just a very chill. And most slice of lives are like over the top, wacky, zany, crazy on humor and stuff. And sure, this was a comedy in the end of the day. It did have some funny moments into it. But it felt it focused more on the characters than it did saying, oh, ha ha, we got a laugh this episode. That part was funny. Like, yeah, it was focusing more on characters. It was focusing more on the relationship of Hase and Kaori. And that's what I liked about the show. It didn't have to like keep forcing comedy down your throat. When it put comedy on there, it was enjoyable, it was fun, and the best thing was about the series, it focused on characters, it didn't just go, oh, he slipped and he hurt his head, make funny, laugh, laugh, like, and one of the things as well, it's such, because it's such a small cast, which you can even take that as a pro or a con for you, but it was such a small cast of characters, around about like five characters all together, 
that you can really name. It's like, and each and every one of them had their moments, had their good parts and their bad parts, and showed, you know, how human they are. And it's like, you can generally feel that these people are people you would know in real life, not like that crazy, oh, it's like, I did an accident, you know, ditzy, sundere girl, like that. It's, these are all characters I feel like if I went to school, this is people that I probably know from school. And also as well, another good thing is that although it's technically not a romance series, I did like the romance elements that it did add into the series. It was very nice. But then as well, the issues that I did have with the series, the progression can be slow at some parts of the episodes. I have to agree with that. Like what a lot of people said that I personally felt progression was pretty much fine for the whole series. There were some parts where it was like, uh, they're kind of going a little bit slow or they're sort of they're taking two steps back, which kind of was the point of the series. Like, you know, you take one foot step forward, two steps back, and then you just try and repeat the process and just see, like, how less damage you can do to, um, for, like, friendship. It was just nice. I enjoyed it. And then also as well, the ending is a bit left open, I think, is uh, based off a manga. I don't know if they're still ongoing or not. Also as well, I've got to say, the sound, it was average. It was just nothing there. Like, it was nice. It was just soothing, but it wasn't, you know, anything special or just amazing. Overall for this series, it's just a nice series. If you want something different, then One Week Friends is it. Sure, it does have some little bit of issues with progression. Sure, it has iffy like sound. It, well, it's just average and the opening and ending isn't that particularly interesting. But it's a fun show. If you put it on and you appreciate a good story and you just want to see some characters and see what the situation they got to deal through for their life. It's like, it's really good. They don't have to drum it up to be this huge event. They don't have to like go crazy this is people that you probably know in real life and overall the one of the small issues that i had with the series personally i thought this was a great series and i would personally give this one an 8 out of 10 what do you guys think have you ever seen one week friends before do you think you're going to give it a try after this review definitely would recommend it to people as well for people starting off with a lot of new slice of lies animes as well but i want to know what you think in the comment section down below and also as well if there are any other good series that was out this season but that's all for me i want to thank them much watching it always remember i'll see you guys next time and remember Straight up, Amanda.